Yeah, I guess we can talk about it while we're waiting. I did see this. So... This card's actually somewhat of a legend. Uh, I haven't seen uh, the video on it yet, but it, apparently it covers it. From what I remember, and I actually remember this when I was a kid, Yu-Gi-Oh! made a one-of-a-kind card for a child that was battling an illness. That child's name was Tyler. So Yu-Gi-Oh! printed one copy of this card, the Tyler the Great Warrior card, and gifted it, gifted it to that child. And now apparently that card's going to auction. Thanks for the resub. Dyslexia Christian the Prime Conrad. That is that model, Jay. Yes, sir. That's the one. We're all scared. But we have Here's to the 10 keep moving subs, forward. Elder. Thank you, Elder. Even if we can't see the road in front of us, holding our heads up high, believing in what lies ahead. Even while we sit here, that moment is coming closer Lucifer. every second. We've all got limited time, you know? So I think first and foremost, we should start off with, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Tyler Gressley. Um, a lot of people know oh, wow. me as uh, Tyler the Great Warrior, which actually uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, chose that name. Uh, they let really? me create the entire card, but they- This is like a whole a documentary on it. And they chose that. The fact that he also has this too. Yeah. I mean, this just tells the whole story here. Rendering. This is what he drew when he was in the hospital. And this is the final rendering. Thanks, so. Prime Phantom, the resub fried, we go sway, brilliant, Frank. So what no one knew prior to this whole thing coming together was yeah. that there were two separate artworks Bits that Kazuki Takahashi did yeah. for Tyler the Great Warrior. And so Tyler got to pick which artwork it was. And so the fact that we have that, and it's also signed by Kazuki Takahashi as well, is just yeah i was geeking out when yeah they were showing i'm like cool. this is unbelievable well that's this cool i was a little story. worried when i heard this was going to auction that something happened to tyler so that's nice to see that he's he's okay these are five give subs metalhead and the resub milf and spiral i think i've watched something on him before chris i can't remember exactly who that is though thanks the bits cupid yeah, it's it's not it's not up yet. Releases in thirty minutes. Is your sub foot? No one's ever heard before. Yeah. So we just a big uh, future trunks fan. Is that, yeah. Is that the, okay? Yeah. I was like, dude, that's just future yeah. trunks on the card. It's like it's so awesome. Walking through it. My journey really started in two thousand and one. I was initially diagnosed with undifferentiated sarcoma of the liver, which is a extremely rare cancer. I was told at the time, um, when I was diagnosed, that there was on average about two hundred known cases that they had ever seen in the United States of it. Eventually, they told me about Make a Wish. At the time, I really loved playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so um, I told them I wanted to make this and they flew us out to new york um my dad and i they introduced me to the artist that's super they cool of them me to um different voices of uh the Yu Gi Oh show uh, i got to watch the pressing of the card took the picture with it and got to go home with it they contacted me and first thing first thing I that's wanted cool was a porsche but i wasn't old enough that's so, really nice of them to do that i didn't know that was like the whole story yeah sure we'd make it happen but because you can't drive you can't have one so after tossing some ideas around and stuff this is what this is what came up um and i um drew this always been inspired by dragon ball z and stuff i loved Yu-Gi-Oh so much so i was like man i can combine them both if i can do whatever yeah, i want yeah. you know so um so i just combined my my two favorite pastimes at the time so yeah uh, my 12 year old self he was great at drawing <laughs> So what do you remember from Thanks to tier the one initial and tier stages one of the Make-A-Wish process? And so I the remember prime. at the beginning Gedwin. of the Make-A-Wish process, two Make-A-Wish representatives coming in, um, introducing themselves, saying, hey, kind of- Oh, it's not up yet. To me. Um, Comes out in 30 minutes. 
they so were just waiting. Honestly, on such big wishes, they kind of really honed in on that. You gotta be jelly. patient. We, this is gonna take a lot of work. Uh, we're gonna have to make a lot of phone calls. Um, we will touch base anytime we get any updates. To me, at the time, it seemed like it took forever, but it really, it it really didn't take all that long. To be honest with you, I don't remember uh, off offhand. I don't remember the two girls who helped. Um, the two representatives who helped get me started before we went to New York and did all this stuff. I'm glad we're able to all assemble here today. Man, he's really getting the whole story here. A full deep dive on the history of this card. I wonder what this will fetch at the auction. I am curious. I don't think it'll be six figures, but I have to imagine it'll still be, like, expensive. Like 20k plus. The collectible card industry's kind of uh, started to get back to what it used to be. <clears throat> nah, I don't think it, I don't think it'll get six figures. I'm thinking it'll probably end up around like probably thirty, forty k, would be my guess. Why is he selling? That I don't know. I'd have to watch the whole video to get the answer to that question. Is there use of EEP, Bra, Wawa, Software in the Prime? <clears throat> Toughens and Tier 1 Vikings. And the bits, Brandon and Jay. That actually wasn't my favorite Thousand Foot Crutch song. My favorite Thousand Foot Crutch song was Phenomenon. No, I'm not gonna buy it. Is the tier one Ozzy Kodon and the resub already? You hear about Elvis the Alien's Kickstarter for a Bloodborne graphic novel? No, that sounds really cool though. Brotherhood of the Wolf. Oh, wait, no. Is it the Old Blood, a Bloodborne prequel graphic novel? 